welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it is Saturday was sold on eBay. Bolo Day, take it oh, away. Yeah. I'm Mr. Magazine. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I ha actually have something in my eye. Paper Goy, could you read what this is? Sorry. Uh, hi. Well, we're here. Oh, the Halloween Society Walpersknacht. Well, I know knocked means exactly, exactly. I know knocked means night, so yeah, it's something okay. or other about the night. All right. Well, luckily it's a fancy. You, you said that my eyes good now. Wow, nice. Anyways. I was trying to read over on the picture itself, <laughs> and it's not well written there either. It's very oddball. I got this from the Ohio deal with the fanzines and so forth. Oh, uh, thirty-nine dollars. Sound for thirty-nine bucks. It looks like nothing. It may be hard to find this out there, but they are out there. If it looks weird enough like this, I would just say grab it. But I think our, I think we've mentioned many, many times over, um, fanzines are yeah. definitely the way to go. They're sure. they're low budget things, and and they're pretty much what they say. Yeah. Fans did them. Um, yeah. You know, they they were some of them were used to be done on like the ditto machines back oh, yeah. in the day and all that kind of well, stuff. I have a bunch of those. I'm worried to list them in case you're like. Bootleg modern knocked off or something. You know, modern so. copies of them as yeah. opposed to the old ones. Yep. Sure. All right, moving on. I bought a bunch of these. I didn't know what they were. I knew they were looked cool. We listed them. This one went for ninety four ninety five. What is it? Dylan Force gauge. It is a gauge. Thousand pound capacity. Ten pound die <laughs> div pencil model. You know, doesn't look like much, but it is. It, you know, I probably paid twenty bucks a piece. Now, how did you get these? Uh, I did have a customer bring in like ten of them, so I never dealt. I mean, I might have dealt with one gauge here and there over yeah. the years, but nothing like ten different ones, and they're all different shapes, sizes, brands, years, and so forth. And you know, I think I paid about twenty a piece. They all they've been selling for fifty to hundred bucks. So. And how did you do the research on them when the person oh, came in? That's the lovely part. I did not. Oh, that's I handed beautiful. it to my employee and I said, "You do the research," and he did some. What about I'm buying it? Uh, I I did I did look up one of them, and I figured like, you know. Twenty bucks. On I think he wanted more. He kind of he did some research, so he I think he wanted thirty or forty. So he had that number because he did some research. I'm sure. Uh, I think I, I usually just pull one out, do a price check on it, and go from there. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's good to know, though, too, in case. But they're out there. They're on Terra Peak, and my employee had no issues, you know, research. Well, also because this is something outside what you normally mm -hmm. buy, so hopefully right. that. Other people watching this are all, yeah. also willing to, to go a little bit outside their comfort zone and make money. Yeah, and, and I mean, look at the condition. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a 10 or $20 item anyways, you know, and it's over right. in nice shape. So, yeah, there you go. All right. This is something you probably find anywhere, and they go for more than you would expect. Uh, Road Champs, which is a cheaper brand, uh, Police Series, Black California Highway Patrol, 143rd scale, unopened. I'm sure you can find these at garage sales, but they do sell because people collect the states, they collect the different, you know, emergency vehicles and so forth. Oh, so every state has a... Uh, yeah, but there's more than one, you know, there's more than one California. There might be different, color, like that's California Highway. There might be another California one. So there's, there could be hundreds in this collection, you know. There could be 10 Californias and so forth. But definitely pick them up. They're going to sell, and they're going to sell for, this one sold for 16 bucks. Well, that's the crazy thing about it. Let's go back into the um, young days at Paper Goy's origin story. Um there were Matchbox and Hot Wheels, and I think Majorette, I think, was the yeah. other brand back then. And then you yep. had the real low th low budget things from like um, Kmart at the time that yeah. were like this size each with like no body to them at all. Right. They're just a little, you know, no under undercarriage or anything all sure. like that. Now you can get 200 different police cars. Yep. Back then you had like one oh, from Match yeah. Matchbox. It's crazy, yeah. Wow. Yep, for sure. All right, next up, I bought a Hot Wheels collection, all in great shape. Uh, this one, I think, is from the 80s, but I've, I've had these a bunch of times. Um, this one, high grade, it went for $18, but still, even if and it's... And it's loose. It is loose, and even if it's in good condition, it's a $10 car, so, or truck. So you could probably get this garage sale for a buck or two. Oh, that's sure. just, that's Hot Wheels size. Yeah, yeah. You know, all right. 164, it's, it's a NASA truck, but all the ones I bought, this guy had hundreds of them, and they were unplayed with from the 70s. And they went anywhere from ten dollars to one hundred fifty bucks. Now, what did you pay on something like those? Uh, I gave him three bucks across the board. Okay. He didn't know what they were worth. Oh, that's more than fair, were, though. Yeah, some were but than but they were all conditions. loose. They're all loose. Yeah, wow. Right. See, yeah. I never, ever, ever in a million years would have done yeah. that because yeah, he found them in his attic, and you know, I think I ended up giving him five hundred bucks for everything he had, and he was happy. You know, and it's way more than he thought he'd get. 
So. Uh, way more than yeah. I would have paid. <laughs> oh, well, were, but I don't um, do those. I did research some of the superhero ones because uh, they were mint condition Spider-Man. I kept like three versions of those. I kept those. Some of the superhero ones are 50, 60 bucks. It's crazy. Wow. You know? So oh, keep an eye out. Any, any Hot Wheels like that in excellent condition from the 80s. Because everybody out there is looking for red lines. That's Correct. what everybody's looking for. But oh, yeah. you can find these because yep. the Hot Wheels people might pass I, these yeah, by. He had some red lines, but the early ones were beat up, and the newer ones were like 70s, 80s. You know, But, yeah, good stuff. Wow. Yep. All right. Let's see. Here we go. 1940 World Series program, Reds versus Tigers, across the field, Eagle on the cover. And I think I took an offer of less than this. Oh. I think two twenty five. I took on it. But I had it up for about a year. Um, can't argue with the price. I made some money on it. Um, it's the only one I think I've ever had. You know, and it went for good money, even though the Yankees were in the World Series that year. Wow. That's, that, is, <laughs> that, is, that is some good money, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Holy. Good shape, too. Pretty clean. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lastly, I don't like to pat myself on the back too often, um, but I will this time. This is Adventures of Super Mario Brothers number one. Uh, it's from 1991. It's a CGC 9.6. Now, when I started grading stuff a couple years ago, I started looking into my inventory online and seeing if there's anything there that hasn't sold. There were some Mario Brothers ones. These were, I think I was asking 20, 30 bucks on Amazon for these. I said, let's pull them off and get them graded. So I turned, uh, you know, say I paid five bucks for it. I turned the $20 Amazon price into $700. Nice. Yeah. So if you see them out there, they are hot. Thank you. I'm waiting for you to pat yourself on the back. Oh. You didn't actually do it. Right, there you go. <laughs> Very good. There's a four in one side. <laughs> First item that I have up today, uh, we've got a lot of ephemera today and uh, one oddball thing at the end here. Uh, number nine, Fisherman's Grotto recipe book, M. Giraldi and Sons, San Francisco, 1960s. Sold for $15, took a few years to sell, six years to sell. That being said, you can find something like this out there all the time. Anybody that went to San Francisco on vacation, got something rather like this. If you happen to be out in the California area, they probably didn't even need to go to San Francisco on vacation. They probably just went there normally and have something rather like this. But to get $15 for something like this um, definitely is good. It's, it's interesting that a lot of the things on the East Coast, I'm thinking the Empire State Building, very difficult to sell their things. But the West Coast stuff, I actually am able to sell much more regularly. Fisherman's Wharf and all that kind of thing. You can actually mm -hmm. sell those. I can't think of the last time I sold an uh, Empire State Building item. Can you think of one that you've sold? They don't no, sell. I mean, no. it just does not sell for some reason. Um, so a lot of the West Coast stuff will sell. Is that the killer from I Know What You Did Last Summer? <laughs> I very well, maybe. I don't know. Or it's the Gorton's Fisherman. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, next item we have up over here is League of Republican Women, Washington, D.C. pre-inaugural tea invite. I think I took a 20, 20 some dollar offer on this, but literally... Cheap at twice the price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there aren't a lot of them out there. Literally, that's all it is. It's a tea invite. It's an invite with the names in, in the inside. It takes up no space whatsoever. Great to sell because it takes, you know, storage is so, yeah. so easy. And you can just kind of name your price on this because they're aren't a lot of them out there um, and it only was listed for a year so it isn't like it was you know fisherman's grotto where it's at there for six years now in england do they do like the crumpets invite or anything like that or no uh probably the league of republican women voters do not do that oh, that's true. um it makes sense <laughs> next item we have over here is kerr handy gummed labels 1935 complete 140 labels canning recipes you your own company with these you, you certainly could um Botulism in a can. I think I took $15 on this over here with uh, free shipping on it. But it was something or other that when I got it, I'm like, who's going to ever want this? But then I said, you know something? Somebody will for some reason. And sure enough, somebody wanted it for some reason. So that just goes to show that you never know when you list things. I will give you a little bit of an insider tip, though. Canning things do sell as far as paper. If you got the, the uh, what was it? A bell, I think, is the name of the one of the bell jars. You've got all the canning things from that, the, the paperwork from that. Those definitely do sell. So there are, are a lot of people out there collecting canning canned goods. Uh, what they were going to do with this, I have no idea whatsoever. But God bless them. Birdcage. Uh, hey, you know, if they want to pay me fifteen dollars for birdcage liner, more than welcome. I've got plenty of it. Um, 
Next time we have her here is Fun with Solo's favorite recital piece is 1975, Evelyn Aversheyan, Violin and Piano. Sold for $20. I put this up there because most of the time when I get sheet music and songbooks, I list it on Amazon. This was not listed on Amazon. I see that. So I said, I want to sell it. I don't really want it sitting there. Yeah. So I went and I put a price on it of $20. I got an offer. Go ahead. Old. No, not at all. Jeez. Yeah. It doesn't look like much. For, like, from being from 75, it's just blah. Yeah, it's very blah. Yep. Yeah, I yep. thought it was like early 1900s. Yep, 1975. And I think I, yeah, I did the table of contents because it was the same songs in both. So I did the table of contents once. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I put it up there and it sold for $15. So I was all happy, and then the person canceled the order. Oh. It was pre-packed, already packed up, because I, I had put the postage label on it and everything. He oh, probably wanted that for the timpani. Probably. I can't, I can't imagine what else they possibly wanted it for. Um, then I was happy to get $20 out of it over there, yes, and it was already packed. Extra gallon of gas. And it was already packed. Yes, and the last item we have today... Is something or other a little bit outside of my niche. I bought this at a thrift store just because it was sealed. Um, nice. Four beverage glasses with a strawberry basket pattern. I got $39 out of it. Libby, I hope they sue you too. <laughs> I, I hope so too. <laughs> I use the $39 for a retainer. What kind of lawyer I can get for $39? Not much. Only the best. His pinky. Um, his pinky ring. Um, but yeah, this is just one of those deals that I was out at a thrift store, they had it up. I don't generally buy things like this, but I said, there's the four glasses. They, they you know, and I, I don't know a lot about glasses. They look like they're 70s or 80s just from looking at them. There are, you know, it's new old stock. I think I paid $3 for it, took a chance on it, got home, didn't find, I found other Libby glasses, but I didn't find this pattern. So I put it up for $39 and lo and behold, guess what it's worth? I am more than happy with that. With it. So hopefully it helps you a little bit there. Uh, sometimes you go outside of your comfort zone, and sometimes that works out well for you. The key is I, I risked $3. Worst case scenario, I could always open this up and drink out of those glasses. And, you know, you think about it, old glasses go for a buck a piece at the thrift store. So to get four of them for $3 is a bargain just yeah. in and of itself, let alone new old stock. Yeah, you got that right. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Do hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.